Hello everyone and welcome back to Warrior Cats The Untold Tales and we are back with Thimbleweed here in the unofficially named Feather Clan where Thimbleweed and Spotridge right over here actually work on raising three kits together Brave Paw, Joy Paw, and Hope Paw and they are also helping provide a shelter for a abandoned kitty pet former kitty pet, I should say, Annabelle, and her child, Thornkit, who is so cute. Hello, little Thornkit. Oh, I hope he's having a good day, too. But last time was very dramatic for Feather Clan because the kits are actually old enough to start working on their apprentice duties. In fact, Joy Paw has already completed all of hers by going around and collecting up the different herbs that are available through the world, which is really the training that Thimbleweed and Sprout Ridge know how to provide because they are both former medicine cat apprentices after all or at least Thimbleweed wishes he was he just kind of shadowed the medicine cat and tried to convince himself that he could be a medicine cat apprentice even though he couldn't because Spot Ridge was the medicine cat apprentice and basically it's been a long chaotic catotic road to get here so if you have no idea who Thimbleweed is I highly recommend reviewing the series starting with his story because it's pretty darn dramatic especially when you find out who the mother and father of Hope, Brave, and Joy Paw happen to be. Uh, it's a little bit, a little bit of drama, a little bit of drama, and it's been really fun watching Spot Ridge and Thimbleweed start raising these kids together and really becoming quite close, but uh, there's just so much to do, and the kids are growing up, and we do need to be able to complete their training. Joy Paw has already gathered all of the herbs. She has already won a battle against other cats and learned how to defend herself, and she has already ventured out to all of the territories and learned basically everything there is to learn from before she can be promoted from apprentice paw to a warrior cat. Meanwhile, Hope Paw has been gathering up all of the herbs and she is also working on winning battles and really proving herself when it comes to being strong enough to become a warrior. And she has done very well too. She just needs to win one more battle, help to gather one more of the different herbs out in the world. And then Brave Paw... <laughs> Poor Brave Paw. Somehow or another, every battle we have entered into, every fight we have taken on, he just has not been able to win. I thought we were, get this, okay, I need to get this drink. I can't remember how to drink, so we're just gonna stand here and we're gonna lick the dew off of this patch of moss. But somehow, even though Brave Paw has thrown himself boldly into battle after battle, he has just not been able to keep up with his sisters. And until that last tragic battle, where in front of their eyes, the kids actually witnessed a warrior succumbing to Thunderpath, a warrior of Shadow Clan who was chasing them down, ended up slipping onto Thunderpath while the kids were trying to fight him off of them, and he got hit by a monster. So, they just witnessed something pretty dramatic, and I'm beginning to wonder if Brave Paw is ever actually going to end up becoming a warrior. I feel like he is really stressed out. I feel like he is really doubtful that he ever could end up becoming a warrior, uh, and especially because he's never won a fight, and the first fight he was really in a monster on Thunderpath got involved and it was really traumatic and I'm beginning to what maybe he's listening to Annabelle maybe he's listening to Annabelle talk about her life with the two legs and he might be curious about that so then the question is do Spot Ridge and Thimbleweed who are now like they have, oh, okay let's go ahead and eat really quickly and then we'll talk about the question all right come here squirrel I need to eat you I can't remember how to pick you up it's been so long oh my gosh hello squirrel how do I how do I I can't remember I can't remember Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's see, squirrel is worth three. So that just fed all of the kits. And then we have one, two, three, four more. And a rabbit is worth two. So I'll go ahead and pick up the rabbit. And birds are worth two. So I'll eat one rabbit and I'll eat one bird. And that counts for all of the prey that the clan needed that day. Let's go ahead and sleep. <laughs> Oh, the days go by so fast. I don't even have a time to catch y'all up on the story. Oh, yeah, and then we have this little what the heck wait what? Who are you? Who are you and what are you doing in my camp dark? What is this? Hi What? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you 
far. Dark has just shown up. A dark, an all white cat, has just shown up in Feather Clan. I have no idea what to think about this. I, I, I have no clue. Who is this dark? What is your mysterious past? Why are you an all white cat in the wild? Did you? How'd you get here? How did you know? Okay, guys, I need help. Who the heck is dark? What are we going to do about this? Because dark has the symbol to say that Dark should be like the mate of our rogue, but Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge are kind of a thing. So um, no, Dark, no, you can't have his heart. I'm hoping maybe Dark is like just barely an apprentice. Maybe she ran away. Maybe she's a kitty pet. In fact, I kind of get the, hmm, hmm. She almost smells like, hmm. Okay, okay. Little Thorn Kit, this is a little bit too well protected for you. Thank you very much. I almost get the uh, the scent from her that perhaps, perhaps this dark is actually from those city cats. The rough and tough rogue clans who wander the alleyways. Hmm. Are you a former alley cat, Dark? Are you running from a really devious, very, very tough... Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to pick up that moss. Very tough alley cat who is uh, like causing all sorts of havoc and destruction. That's going to be my next guess on why she's here. Uh, I'm going to need your guys' help in actually figuring that out, though, because that wasn't supposed to happen today. But I think she's very young, much younger than Thimbleweed, and maybe Brave Paw might be able to kind of start eyeing her up a little bit. So, whew. anyway, I'm thinking Brave Paw is looking for something else. He has seen what the wilds have had. He has seen what trying to become a proper warrior cat, as Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge are doing their best to teach the kits how to become, what that can do. And now... He doesn't know if that's right for him. So he has some pretty serious questions that he's going to have to face. But the good news is the kits are beginning to recover from the terrible, terrible accident that they actually had last time. Almost getting hit, almost having all of them die on Thunderpath was a little bit intense. So let's go ahead and bring Hope. Okay, gotta move very carefully so that I can convince them to come with us. Okay, follow follow and we're gonna we're gonna try to bring brave he's gonna protest but we're going to bring him out of the camp with us anyway and we are going to go in search of some new herbs and i think we're a little nervous to leave dark with the others uh but you know spot Ridge has a lot of pride i think if we tried to say something about possibly leaving spot Ridge with an unknown cat like are you going to be in danger I think that Spot Ridge would probably like lose it. He would be like, get out of here and don't, ah! Okay, run, run, run. We're allowed to run from that battle. I'm sorry, little ones. Oh, we fell into a trap, but we'll run away. Okay, we're allowed to run from all battles except for battles with Shadow Clan today. And hiding the kit's existence from, uh, actually like hiding, hiding the kit's existence from Wind Clan is very important considering who the parents of these three are. So let's try to find somewhere safe that we can do a little bit of hunting. Ah, good. And actually one of the things we are hunting for are these pieces. Okay, so we have some fever few and that means we can use our healing abilities. There we go. Hopefully Hope Paw can get patched up. And we have to get rid of this fever few now. Uh, here's another fever few though. So there we go. Okay, two fever few. And I don't think I can like give it to them, unfortunately. There we go. And maybe we'll have to make Joy Paw like a warrior now. The they have so much more health when they become warriors. Ah, no, run! We're not getting caught in this battle. I think that Joy Paw, surprisingly in particular, and her sister are a lot more battle frenzied than I ever anticipated. But I think that we definitely grabbed them by the scruff of their neck and the back of their tails and it just like pulled them away from battle. Thimbleweed wants to spend his days showing very, very peacefully the way that, you know, the kids could gather moss off the sides of trees and you could use that to heal different wounds. You could use that in order to, like, drink off of it. This is how you can survive in the wild. And I feel like the girls have a little bit more aggressive warrior trait to them. But I feel like Brave Paw, maybe he doesn't want to fight. I'm beginning to realize that fighting may not be in his heart, even though uh, he is the son of a certain cat from Wind Clan. Okay, back to the running, back to the running. They ruined my pile. Did you see that? That is so rude. I just put all of that moss down so that we could have a nice pile. And what do they do? They just go ahead and ruin it. <laughs> well, at least we managed to get a whole bunch of feathers. All right, I'm going to use the healing again. 
And now I have to get rid of these two fever few. Thankfully, that's as easy as hiding them behind a tree where I will never see them again. <laughs> that's our new trick we have started doing when I need to use up in quotation marks. The healing items, since I like to use one of the herbs that we find in the world every time we use the special ability to heal our kits. And actually, I think if we end up with Joy Paw, and the others, Hope Paw just needs to win uh, like one more prey piece. She just needs to catch one more piece of prey and then her training is going to be over. So if we get to the end of New Leaf and both Hope and Joy Paw have completed their training, we'll probably give them their warrior names. And then it's going to be very awkward and we're going to have to see where to go with Brave Paw. And I wonder, do you guys think if Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge have it in them to admit if it is... If it is Brave Paw's choice, is it truly a cowardly choice? If maybe he wants to become a kitty pet? <gasps> Gaspies, what will we do? Oh my gosh, what do you guys think? Is it a is it a a choice that Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge should respect? Should they allow Brave Paw to end up becoming a kitty pet if he has heard how the cats don't have to fight if they live in the houses with the two legs, if he has heard how there isn't hunger, how when you get sick you get taken care of, other than the fact that Annabelle kept having kits and she got really sad when her kits were taken away when they got older and given to other people. You know, she was never mistreated from her two legs before, so hmm. All right, Trainer Tune. Can we upgrade anything with him? I think, yay, we can upgrade the Herblore. That would be fantastic. Oh, that makes me happy. All right, so we can upgrade our Herblore. And let's see if we can find any more of the herbs. It really looks like Hope Paw is kind of raring for a fight over there, which is kind of interesting to me. But let's continue to hunt with these little ones. Today is a day where I rolled the random generator and we can hunt in any of the territories. Not this one though. Whoa, we ran luck that mouse. <laughs> that was a little bit much. I think Thimbleweed's a little bit, ah, uh, not this place. This is like the bridge of death. <laughs> I think Thimbleweed is like tripping over himself. I think he got a little bit lost. Not even he tends to roam this far from Wind Clan. At heart, Thimbleweed is a Wind Clan cat after all. Brave Paw, Brave Paw, are you gonna get your very first hunt? Your sisters pulled back, they're waiting for you. Oh, it didn't work. Oh my gosh, he has never once been able to do a successful hunt. And now Hope Paw and Joy Paw might end up becoming, woo, we're out of here too. Out of here, kids, 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 kids. Kits, oh my gosh, there was a shiny thing. <laughs> Where, am I missing, am I missing someone? Oh my gosh, Hope Paw, don't scare me like that. She's just on top of her brother. There we go, okay, we've still got everybody. Hope Paw, Hope Paw, I've gotta find, okay, we've gotta find some herbs for her. We're getting home. I don't think this is a day where we are getting like attacked on all sides. <laughs> That's really going to very much help, help, help. That's really going to help. Uh, I think we'll accidentally drop the shiny thing over here because we're crashing into those rocks just in case this is food. There we go, yeah, this is food. We needed something a little bit more filling to eat. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, nope, 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 nope. Wow, I don't know what has all of the cats dander up today, but there is a lot of fighting going down and I think that Thimbleweed is going to march all of them right back to camp. He is not going to put their lives at risk. I think Hope Paw and Joy Paw are almost old enough to fight with him about that and tell him that they are almost full warriors by their own right and they should not have to stay back in the camp if they don't want to. <gasps> Brave Paw! Brave Paw, your very first kill! Oh, just when I thought you were going to end up becoming a kitty pet. Oh, guys, happy day. Happy day, and we're back to our big giant field. Let me go ahead and drop some of the bird feathers. There we go. And let me go ahead and grab this plant, and we're going to use it right away to try to heal up Hope Paw, who has definitely had a very long day. We will return them to their spots. We will now destroy the fever few plant by hiding it behind a tree. Might as well be gone forever because you're never going to be able to see it again. And we will drop off the day's meager offerings. Not enough to continue to feed the apparently growing clan, but I wonder if perhaps Spot Ridge and Annabelle actually had the opportunity to learn a little bit about Dark while we took the apprentices out hunting and searching the surrounding land. Hmm. 
I suppose we're going to have to find out next time. So I will see you guys then and do let me know what do you think about Brave Paw and his future? What do you think about Itty Bitty Thorn Kit and the fact that he is just so adorable? And uh, what do you think about the idea of possibly having some sort of special series where Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge raise a bunch of rescue kittens in Sims 3 or Sims 4? Hmm! Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!